Discover boat launch in cold December day and John Livingston, president of Ranger Tugs, is trailering a 29 down so we can video the launch and retrieving of the boat. And here comes John now. The 29 sits on a 15,000 pound carrying capacity uh, easy loader trailer and he's trailering it with a 2008 Dodge three quarter ton truck with a Cummins diesel. The actual weight of the boat and trailer dry is approximately 12,000 pounds. Um, so it's really, really quite uh, easy to, to trailer behind a three quarter ton uh, diesel truck. So the drain plugs in the boat the uh, tie down straps are off of the transom. The uh, trailer has electric brakes so you can actually uh, use the brake controller to slow the boat down if he needs to, slow the trailer down. He's going to ease the trailer into the water until just about the front part of the, of the forward bunks are submerged, so just about right there. Typically you'd have fenders and lines on the boat, uh, but because we're going to put it right back up onto the trailer, John's just going to demonstrate how you drive it off the trailer and then drive it back on. You can also do it by floating it off and on the trailer, so whatever you're more comfortable with, uh, it's really up to you. Uh, boats, trailers in the water, uh, the front strap is disconnected from the bow eye. John's turned the battery switches all on and he's now opening the seacock. Yep, open. Seacock's now open, which allows the water to flow to cool the engine. As I mentioned, we have more calls with the impeller that's been burned out from a closed seacock. So John's now confirming that we've got good water flow before he backs the boat off the trailer. So John's going to raise the mast and VHF antenna. And it's done by disconnecting the... Well, first he's going to raise the antenna. That locks into place. You want to make sure you lower the antenna before you put it... take back off when the boat's on the trailer. Now he's released the uh, lanyard from each side of the mast. There's two thumb screws that he's uh, loosening and removing. There's a support pole with a pin. He's going to pull that pin, lower the support pole, raise the mast. All of the uh, wires are already attached, so it's just a matter of raising the mast, tightening the thumb screws. Flipping the lanyard back to the, the hoops. And that's all there is to it. Review a few steps with you before we actually take off on the water. We want to make sure the battery switches are on the on position. We want to make sure the seacock is in the open position. And once we start the boat, we want to confirm that there's water flow out of the exhaust. And that, at that point, we're ready to go boating. The battery switches are all in the on position, and the parallel switch is in the off position, which is where you want it for normal operation.
The uh, seacock is in the open position. Tie down straps are off, the plug's in, the boat's running, the mast is up. And now John's going to uh, drive the boat essentially off of the trailer and show us how that's done. This also can be done by putting the uh, starting the truck and putting it in reverse and just tapping the brakes and the boat will float off the same way. Axis. There's about 50 feet between the two docks here. The boat's 33 feet overall, so you can see how tight the quarters are, but how easy it is to move that boat. R29 back on the easy loader trailer. And as long as you get the bow between the bunks and you can use the bow thruster to, to line the boat up, the trailer will actually right the boat straight and it will go on straight. So he's just going to ease it up onto the trailer here. So he's off a little bit and the trailer just brings it up nice and straight. You can also do this by floating the boat onto the trailer. So either driving on or floating. And he's up against the stop. That's all there is to it. So that's the launching and retrieving of a Ranger R29. The 21, 25, and 27 are the same procedure. And it's really a, a pretty simple process. Well, thanks for joining us here today in Everett, Washington, where we launched and retrieved the Ranger 29. And if you have any questions, uh, visit us at rangertugs.com. Thank you.